Yo, what's going on, Geminites? It's your boy, Gem Min. I'm back with another not-so-recent reads. This time, we're going to take a look at one of my favorite Marvel runs and one of my favorite omnibus in my collection, The Uncanny X-Force by Rick Remender. We're going to keep it spoiler-free, but we're going to talk a little about the story, show the uh, book itself and some of the artwork, and uh, yeah, all that good stuff. Stay tuned. All right, man, so this is a whale of a book, and it's one of my personal favorites. I actually read this when I was collecting comics, uh, when I just got back into it, and I had this whole run in single issues. It's like 35 issues with a couple of, like, uh, .5 issues. Uh, Rick Remender, a dope-ass team. You got Wolverine, uh, Deadpool, Archangel, Psylocke, Phantom X. You get... Um, Nightcrawler ends up joining, uh, yeah, but that's basically it. I read this without any prior uh, X-Force knowledge. Like, I didn't read the uh, Kyle and Yo stuff before I read this, and I was just fine. It actually leads into Wolverine and the X-Men, and um, it's just... Phew, a dope ass team, man. It's probably like one of the my, one of my most favorite Marvel rosters of all time. Uh, yeah, issues one through thirty five and five point one and nineteen point one. Plus, it's got material from Wolverine: Road to Hell One and all new Wolverine Saga uh, and X Men Spotlight. So, there's a couple different story arcs in here. Uh, one of the Earlier ones, I think it's the first arc, is Apocalypse is reborn inside of a child. So there's this whole ethical dilemma on should we kill this child that we know is going to grow up to be Apocalypse. And uh, it's kind of crazy how that plays out. Very unexpected. Uh, you have the Dark Angel Saga is one of the arcs in here, which is super dope, man. At this time, Archangel's in a relationship with Psylocke. And she's trying to like kind of console him because his evil inside of him is taking over. He's having these nightmares, and he fears that he's going to be he's going to become death like he was when he was one of the horsemen. Uh, you know, he's trying to be a good guy. What else do we got in here? This actually goes back to the Age of Apocalypse universe, and there's some stuff going on there. That's one of the point one issues. The artwork on these covers is super dope. Let me look at this and see what's going on in here. So I could recall some stuff. Actually, let's just flip through it together and we'll talk about the book. Alright, so let's just take a crack open at this omnibus here. Oh, Pena. Crazy dope artwork, man. I love this cover. They couldn't have picked a better issue for the um, cover of the dust jacket. Absolutely awesome artwork. I love it. Spine is your traditional Marvel Omni. And here is the back, which is another one of the covers. I think the front is issue two and the back is issue three. It might not be. Had a $100 cover price when it came out. Here goes your squad. This was the first I've ever read of Phantom X. And I loved his character, man. He was like Deadpool, but more like Ocean's Eleven. You know what I mean? A little bit more of a spy than a merc. Then they hit you with the very classy all white hardcover. Spine is very nice. And a nice little cover on the back. I think this is uh, Phantom X's ship. Eva? I might be wrong. Deadpool, Wolverine, Psylocke, Nightcrawler. There's Archangel with the red eye going on. He's battling some personal demons in this run. Yeah, so this was a uh, little prologue to Uncanny X-Force, and that's his ship, Eva. What's it stand for? Environmental something? So this just leads up into, here goes issue one, the apox Apocalypse Solution. I love how it starts off with Deadpool on top of this thing. He jumps off. I don't want to give away any of this story. Oh yeah, but we didn't talk about the costume. The matching white and black costumes. Bruh. Gotta love it. 
Wolverine with the red eyes, too. I like when they're walking through the mansion and they have, like, these big posters of, like, the original team, the giant size team, and just following teams. I think it's really cool that they would have that in the mansion. Psylocke. Love me some Psylocke. We've got some Lady Deathstrike action. Artwork is great. I love this run, man. I would read this over again. Then this is a Deathlock little arc that goes on where basically a bunch of Deathlocks from the future come to the past to kill people. You know. <clears throat> Age of Apocalypse Weapon X. Holocaust from Age of Apocalypse. Now we're on Archangel mode. There goes the Death, uh, death Strokes again. Love this run, man. The art does change throughout it. So we'll make a red action. It's been some years since I read this. I love the Psylocke stuff, though. I love how she's trying to help Angel out. It's almost like she's with the abusive boyfriend relationship, and I can change him. So, Apocalypse is inside of this child, Ethan. So, if you've read forward, you know you've seen him in the Academy, uh, Xavier School, or I think it's Jean Grey School for Higher Learning. Oh, Deadpool's not in his gear. So I guess that's about it, man. Let's see what the extras are in here. Some variants. Oh, connecting covers. I always like that. Connecting covers. Here's the variant for number one. By Clayton Crane. Okay. Okay. Let's see that. Connecting covers for issue 19. I think issue 19 was also black bagged as well. And you get scripts and sketches. Deathstroke. Deathlock. I keep saying stroke. I just read Deathstroke. I wonder if I said it wrong the whole time during this review. Alright, man. Y'all need to go read this. All right, guys, so that's my little uh, non-spoiler review on Rick Remender's Uncanny X-Force. I'm doing these not-so-recent reads because I have a lot of stuff that I've read that people want me to do a review on, but I'm not going to reread it. I have so much of a backlog that I'd rather read something that I've never read. But, hey, even though it's been a, you know, a couple years since I've read this, we could flip through together. I remember some of the stuff, and uh, you guys get to take a look at it, especially with whales like this, like books that are hard to come by. I do recommend picking this up in two trade paperbacks that collects the entire run. I almost want to pick those up every time I see them when, I, when they're in the store, too, just because it's such a dope story. Um, I have a couple other ones planned for not-so-recent reads. I'm going to do Why the Last Man. I want to do Acts of Vengeance. I want to do the Captain America Brubaker saga. There's a lot of good stuff that we could do, and this way we can keep more reviews coming out uh, while I still read other stuff. Um, I recently uh, released the um, Deathstroke New 52 Omnibus Review. I'm reading Eternals. Uh, we're going through the IDW Transformers volume, so me and Manimal are going to do reviews on that. Uh, he's also reading Hellboy. We're going to double-team BPRD. So we're going to do a lot of recent reads uh, to keep content cranking out. So make sure to subscribe to the channel. We do something every day, whether it's a review or a statue comes in and we do an unboxing or a haul. Uh, you know, we do live shows and Comic-Con coverage. So a bunch of stuff. Hit that like on the way out and let me know what you think about Uncanny X-Force. Stay minty. Peace.